Hello everyone. So we'll be looking into the structure elucidation of penicillin. The structure of penicillin is a beta lactam structure. So the structure elucidation that we'll be looking into would be benzyl penicillin or it is also called as penicillin 5. That means here the common structure is RCONH instead of that R it is C6H5CH2. So Dep depending on this R, now the category of the penicillin that we will be doing a structure elucidation would be benzyl penicillin. So benzyl penicillin is naturally occurring. It is an antibiotic for bacterial infection. It is active against gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria. We all we have already known about the gram stains. Hence, it is active with most of the gram positive bacteria and few gram negative bacteria. Why at all penicillin has been used? It is because it is cheaply available and we can synthesize water soluble salts with potassium and sodium so carboxylic group is present into which if we react it with an alkali co2h will give co2na or co2k which are water soluble now penicillins can also be given as intravenous injections and intramuscular injections the structure is it's a mono basic acid and hence it will form salt it can be hydrolyzed by dilute inorganic acids like for example HCl and one carbon is eliminated as a carbon dioxide. When penicillin is hydrolyzed with a presence of a dilute inorganic acid, there are two products which are formed. One is an amine which is same for all the penicillin structures and a aldehyde which is different because of the presence of different R. Hence, there will be two products, amine which is same and aldehyde because the R is differing, there will be different aldehydes which are present. The molecular formula of penicillin is C9H11O4N2SR which upon hydrolysis in HCl that is dilute inorganic acid hydrolysis will yield carbon dioxide, penicillin amine and penyloaldehyde. Penicillin amine is the same penicillin for all the penicillin structures and penyloaldehyde is going to vary dependent on the R. Penicillin amine when it reacts with FeCl3 it gives an indigo color which is a characteristic for the presence of cysteine. That means cysteine is an amino acid which is going to contain a sulfur group. Now we can see that this is the structure of penicillin amine. This has been confirmed by its synthesis. For the synthesis of penicillin amine the starting material is valine. This reacts with chlorocetyl chloride in the presence of base. Lone pair of electrons of this NH2 will attack the carbonyl carbon of your chlorocetyl chloride to give a substitution reaction. This intermediate in the presence of acetic anhydride undergoes a cyclization to give a cyclic lactone. This cyclic lactone when it reacts with H2S cleavage takes place at this lactone structure and there is a ring insertion reaction. The ring insertion reaction is the insertion of SH. Further, again there is a cyclization. That means lone pair of electrons on the sulfur attacks the double bond so that there is a thiazolidine structure which will be formed. The thiazolidine structure that gets formed is 2,5,5-trimethyl-2-thiazolene 4-carboxylic acid. There is a presence of 3 methyl groups, one edge, both all of them which are adjacent to this uh, sulfur present which is going to give me a thiazolidine 4-carboxylic acid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4-carboxylic acid. This intermediate thiazolidine when it is cleaved in the presence of water, we can see that there is a cleavage and there is a masked NH2 which gets formed. There is a masked NH2 which gets 
formed that is your NHCOCH3 this masked NH2 when we boil it in the presence of HCl and pyridine NHCOCH3 gets converted to NH2 that is the DL penicillin amine the last step is lone pair of electrons attached on to the double bond there is a cyclization to give a thiazolidine ring and then Upon a hydrolysis, it is going to give a masked NH2 which upon deprotection with HCl is going to give the racemic mixture of DL penicillin amine. Now once we get a racemic mixture, obviously there should be resolution of the racemic mixture. The resolution of the racemic amine can be done by brucine. Now this is used for which is a base, it is used for a stereospecific synthesis. Brucine is nothing but it is 2,3-dimethoxy strychnine. This is the structure of brucine. So, when we take up DL penicillin amine, in the presence of a formic acid, N formylation takes place. Lone pair of electrons on nitrogen attack onto the carbonyl carbon of the formic acid to give N formyl penicillin amine. This N formyl penicillin amine in the presence of brucine, HCl and pyridine will give a resolved penicillin amine. Dependent on what type of brucine we are going to use, if we make use of debrucine, then we will be getting a system which is D system here. If we take use, make use of L brucine, then we will be getting L. So in the end, we will be getting a resolved penicillin amine system. Now this resolved penicillin amine system, it was said to be identical to the naturally occurring system. Now further moving on, penicillin when it reacts with diazomethane in the presence of mercury chloride, there is a synthesis of methyl ester of penicillin amine. This proves that there is a carboxylic group present in penicillin amine and also it is also seen that the same carboxylic group is also present in penicillin. Now we can remember that there would be three products which is one is carbon dioxide, one is penicillin amine. We have already seen the penicillin amine along with its structure elucidation and its synthesis. So the next product is penyloaldehyde. What is a penyloaldehyde? It is an acylated derivative of amino acetaldehyde. Penyloaldehydes upon vigorous hydrolysis in the presence of water, they give substituted acetic acid and amino acetaldehydes. This can be proved by its synthesis. Now, when we take up penyloaldehyde, that is RCO, NH, CH2, CHO, in the presence of a vigorous hydrolysis, it gives a substituted acid and amino acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is CH3, CHO. We are going to get NH2, CH2, CHO. That is, it is a substituted or amino acetaldehyde. Now, penyloaldehyde has to be proved by its synthesis. The synthesis is carried out in this way. When an acyl chloride reacts with a substituted melanoic ester, that is, lone pair of electrons of nitrogen will attack the carbonyl carbon. Now, melanoic ester is going to attack the carbonyl carbon to give a substitution intermediate, substituted intermediate. This substituted intermediate, when it reacts with HCl, it is going to give two molecules of ethanol so that the penyloaldehyde can be synthesized. So, acyl chloride reacts with substituted melanoic ester which gives an intermediate which upon hydrolysis in the presence of HCl will give penyloaldehyde. Now, the third product that was present over there was carbon dioxide. Penicillin upon hydrolysis gave penicillin amine which we have already seen, penyloaldehyde which we have already synthesized and there is a carbon dioxide. Penicillin upon hydrolysis if it is giving carbon dioxide that means penicillin is also having a beta keto acid intermediate. Now this beta keto acid intermediate can be called as penaldic acid. The structure of penaldic acid is RCONH, CH, CHO, CO2H. Now, this is the structure of penaldic acid. 
Penaldic acid upon hydrolysis is going to give a molecule of carbon dioxide and a penyloaldehyde. This proves the presence of carbon dioxide and hence the same presence can be seen for the penicillin. So the presence of carbon dioxide can be actually given with the proof that when penaldic acid which is a beta keto acid it reacts or it undergoes hydrolysis to give a penyloaldehyde and a carbon dioxide. Now, there is a presence of a carbon dioxide, there is a presence of a penicillin amine. The position of the carboxylic group has to be established. Penicillin, when reacts with dilute alkali, it is going to give penicilloic acid, which is a dicarboxylic acid, a carbon dioxide and a penyloic acid. The same reaction is seen when penicillin will undergo with the attack of a penicillinase enzyme, it gives the same products that is the penicilloic acid and which is a dicarboxylic acid, carbon dioxide and a penyloic acid. This gives the proof that carboxylic group is present in the beta position. That means there is a beta position carboxylic group. This is alpha beta. With respect to sulfur, it is alpha beta. So we can see that there is a presence of a carboxylic group which is present in Penicillin, penicilloic acid, it is also present in penaldic acid. So this gives the structural elucidation of penicillin amine, penyloaldehyde and finally the, carbon the carboxylic group that is present in the penicillin.